So we've just received some breaking news. One of our very own viewers here, Slightly Cruciferous, aka Highly Cruciferous, has just played the first ever Wagon Gambit in a FIDE rated event. This was played in the French Third League. This is absolutely breaking news, hot off the presses. Our viewer here has the black pieces, and he's going to play, for the first time in an actual FIDE event, a gambit that we've made videos on in the past. When we started making videos on it, it had about a uh, hundred total games. Then I made a video where it had about a thousand total games after that. Now we're making another video on the wagon gambits. Nobody knows about this one yet. Cruciferous is the first one to ever play it. His opponent is playing with the white pieces, uh, and the opponent is about... Uh, 2050 rated. So I'm actually going to change my scene here for just a second. We're going to do this. This deserves the full YouTube treatment, okay? So let's do this. Highly Cruciferous here has the black pieces. His opponent opens up with d4, knight to f6. After c4, he plays a6. Fide rated standard game. Knight goes to c3. He plays b5. Now, Cruciferous is one of the pioneers of this opening. He's the one that actually led me to learn about this, and I've just been having a lot of fun. It's one of the best ways to play against d4. You play e5! This is the Wagon Gambit. It's incredibly dubious, obviously, but no one knows this one yet. This is, like, so much fun, and you're kind of mixing, like, a Wing Gambit with a Budapest Gambit. Now, sadly, the first ever FIDE game, they declined? Wagon Gambit declined? Now, in the past on YouTube... Uh, I'll leave some links if this becomes a video. We've seen a lot of games continue with this. This is the critical way for black to continue, or white to continue. You hop your knight into e4. You're immediately threatening bishop to b4. And there's a lot of interesting traps that can come from here. And this is something that people are not studying. Most people are going here. You can also go here. Sometimes people do like weird queen moves. A lot of tricks and traps that have already been explored. But this is sad. Your opponent doesn't accept the gambit which is actually very typical of, like, uh, standard chess. If you play insanely wild gambits in, like, an actual FIDE tournament, people are, are very likely to decline. So we are, <laughs> we are going to see exactly how this was handled. E4 seems like a very sensible move. Currently, we are down one pawn as black, but now white needs to answer the question of where the knight goes. So I, I assume there's two different ways. I have not seen this game yet this is just a hot off the press situation he doesn't move the knight wait there's a move that's not moving the knight he white goes here and he instead of moving the knight threatens the c pawn what is this now i i are you just winning because it looks like to the untrained eye that you play the move pawn to c6 and you're winning what the heck? It's that easy. There's two knights attacked. Cruciferous is winning in seven moves <laughs> with the with the wagon gambits. That's insane. Um, so I guess what should have happened is the knight should have moved. I don't know where, but the most played move in the database is to go into e5. And uh, most people here are playing d6. But this just looks like you'd be playing a game of chess. You could analyze this all day. You also have ideas of kicking the other knights and going here. Bishop can come into b4. It looks like there's actually a lot of play here still uh, for the opponents. But instead of that, we're actually just going to see Cruciferous winning. And all you got to do now is convert. Time trouble. There was maybe some time trouble early on. Maybe not. One of the knights hop backs. So you just take the other one. Chess is easy. It's just, it's just that easy. You play d5. You're getting ready to develop. The knight comes out. Uh, you do go in for this immediate knight move. You take here at some moment. Knight goes in to g4. It, knight takes here. Knight takes here! A beautiful game, actually. This looks like really well-played wagon gambit game. Delivers a check and the opponent resigns. Congratulations to our very own Highly Cruciferous being the first person to ever play the wagon gambit in a fide game and the first ever person to win <laughs> a game with the wagon gambit if i do turn this into a youtube video what i think i need to do is we mention this here's the problem you won so fast and easy is it even a youtube video it's more like 
It's just more of an announcement video. It's just like somebody played this and they won. It's not even like, it's just a milestone. It's just a milestone. I already can see YouTube. Like, oh, it's just, yeah, but he just easily won a night. Yeah, he easily won a night against the 2050. Doesn't feel worthy, but it, it almost is because this is a news story, okay? This is, we're not actually like learning detailed theory here. We are reporting the news. And as a journalist who's been covering the wagon gambit extensively, more than any other creator, this is breaking news and it deserves chess coverage. I just don't know how I'm gonna put it on YouTube, but somehow I will, because shout out to Highly Cruciferous. That was amazing. Take a look at Bishop F4 instead of Queen to C2. Okay, so there is there some sort of crazy line? This deserves it. You deserve the YouTube recording super... Uh, is there something else that needs to be analyzed? So, I mean, it looks like... I mean, the most common would be going here. Now, Haile has informed me that I should perhaps take a look at this line. Maybe this is an interesting way of sacrificing a piece. Because now you're on here, so I'd expect... I expect that a lot of people, if you got here, you would want to play D6. D6 looks normal in order to do this. But I guess the question is, you're daring me to take the knight. You're daring me. You dare me? Okay, so I take. Now, obviously, you're going to take here, and you're obviously going to take with a knight. You're going to win a rook, and you're going to misplace my king. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. Knight takes. No, this is great. Black just wins. Everybody see it? You take the knight. Ah, you were hoping to trick him. Queen takes c7. They take back. Bishop check. How does white block? You have to put your queen on d2. Ah, okay. So highly, because he got to play this during a long game. He was taking a look at some interesting lines. So for sure, declining the gambit is just simply not the way to go. For sure. Like, obviously, you should accept... The wagon gambit, you must accept. And the computer's like, it's like plus two, or it's, you know, it's really bad. It's a dubious gambit. Like, it's, it's the same bad as, like, the Stafford. It's like, a, it's a bad gambit with a lot of tricks and traps. But if you do decline it, you just push this pawn, and the knight needs to go somewhere, and you just have, like, general compensation. And now it's at, like, 3,000. It's at, like, 3,000. It was at 100 total games in the Lee Chess database, this position, I, we made a video that took it to like a thousand. Now I haven't thought about it for several weeks or a month or something. Now it's at 3000. People are playing it. People are playing the wagon gambits. And this I am monkey king. He actually contacted me. I made a video on one of his games. Uh, I'm in there losing, I guess. I'm one of the, 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 the people that have lost. But um, yeah, he played like some awesome games too. So if you want to study games, this is an I am monkey king, who's like the highest rated guy that's playing this regularly.